You run a WordPress website for your business or for your person and you want to back it up, and but you want it to be simple. You don't want it to have to deal with a lot of code or a lot of FTP issues, et cetera, et cetera. And boy, do I have the solution for you. It's right here on the screen. It's called WP Vivid Backup. It is a plugin. It is free. You can get it from the WordPress uh, repository. So, repository, wow, repository. I'll get that word eventually. So. Once you've just downloaded that, you will have this option up at the top menu of your WordPress website, WP Vivid Backup. All you really need to worry about is the very first option, which is Backup and Restore. That Clicking on that will bring you to the page that I'm already on, so this is going to look familiar. So once here, in order to back up your entire website, and I mean both uh, your physical website and which comprises your pages, your posts, your store. It also uh, uh, provides the option of backing up your database, which is all of the information that fills in the physical component of your website. So you do have three options. You can back up data place, database plus files together. That's what I recommend. If you're going to back something up, why not back everything up? You can back up only the WordPress files, which that's just your pages and your products and your uh, posts. But if you don't have your database backed up, it'll only save the structure and which blocks you used. Your information, your words, your photos, your videos, they won't be there. Or you can only back up the database. But again, just back up everything. It's super fast, it's super easy, and it'll save you a lot of headache. Now to back up, this is going to be really hard. You're probably going to, uh, you're probably a step ahead of me. You click the big blue button, which I'm going to do now. Click. And you can see that a progress bar begins right here. So it just runs. So you just sit tight and let your uh, website back up everything that's needed to rescue you in case of an emergency. And I'm going to show you in the next video how easy it is to uh, restore a website from a backup. And uh, but before we get out of this video, once this finishes, I'll show you where that backup is stored. In fact, to save us all a bit of time, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this backup. And as I'm speaking to you, uh, I'll let that cancel. It'll take it a moment. There we go. Um, I'll scroll down to the, the bottom of the same page where we have backups and upload. And here you can see that on September 1st, 2022, that's today, by the way, uh, I created a backup of my existing website. And from here, I can choose to do three things. I can download this backup so that I have a copy on a, uh, a spare hard drive or something to that effect. If I click download, it will, uh, in fact, bring up, it will parse all of the data into four downloadable chunks according to what the server your, of your hosting account can put together. So 200 megabytes, 60 megabytes, 150 megabytes, and 30 megabytes. You just download each one of these and then just put them in a folder together. Uh, now also, uh, in, not only with uh, download, you can restore. If I click restore, that's, you know what, let's uh, throw that in this video too. If I click uh, restore, all you have to do is click the restore button and then this window here will run through uh, like a, a log, in a live updated log to show you where it is in the process. I'll do the entire process for you in a dedicated video, but that, that's as easy as it is. And once you've clicked restore, you will just, uh, you'll be logged out. You'll just log back in with your credentials. That's it. And you're done and you're you're up to date uh, for uploading uh, back up and restore so we will go to we'll scroll down to uploads and scroll back down and simply if you downloaded your files from the download tab which we saw here then uh, you can just drag those into the uploads drop files here box and 
just uh, upload and then all of your uploaded files will show up in the available backups. Just do a scan, uploaded backup or received backup. Hit scan, it will look uh, in the dire upload directory and then it, if it finds it, you will see it listed here and you can just click restore and that will create, um, that, will, that will restore your website back to the uh, one for one version of what it was in, the, in that uh, specific backup. So that's how you back up your website and uh, restore as well. Uh, more info on restore later, but that's, uh, that's in and out. That's how you do it. So if you're looking for an easy way that's kind of hands off, allows you to just get in, do the task, get out because you've got important other things to do in your day, this is the way you want to go when working with WordPress. It's called WP Vivid Backup. It's a great plugin. doesn't cost anything. It's magnificent, and I couldn't, I couldn't give it enough uh, praise if I tried. So that's it for this video. If you found this helpful, and if you find yourself in the periodic uh, need for uh, assistance when it comes to WordPress and insights and workflows and tips and tricks, if you find yourself spending time out of your day occasionally or week, whatever, and uh, you're, you're searching for this kind of information, just like and subscribe. Save yourself the hunt. Just get the information right away because if I have it, it's yours. All right. I'll see you next, uh, next time. Thanks for watching. Take care.